Hey gang! How's everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well. The heat wave finally broke here. I have all the windows open. It's gloriously cool. Oh, it feels so good. So, coffee first. Ah, oh, so good. I thought today we would work with some of my Rambouillet fleece that I have. Now this I have dyed, um, but this is a fascinating little fleece. Let me just show you this. Let me get a little chunk here. So this is the fleece and it looks like really short and stubby, but this fleece is so springy. It's already stretched out a bit. But look how long that staple length actually is when you stretch it out. <laughs> it's crazy. I love this fleece. This is Earl. Earl is amazing. Now he's a brown Werther. Weather. Werther? Weather. Werther's is the candy. Um, <laughs> I bought his fleece a couple of times, but that was from my retired farmer friend. So I will never be able to get this fleece again. It makes me sad because I love Earl. But you can see how much spring is in that. Like the crimp is crazy. And he's very soft. So what I've done is I dyed a bit with some reds and blues to get these marvelous deep rich tones. And despite how short it looks... Yeah, how short it looks. I'm combing it with my mini combs. Now, it's making this very, very poofy roving. And it's fabulous. So while I comb this today, I will film that. And then we're going to spin it up. And then I will show you what happens when you wash it again. Because this is going to go from a skein, like, you know, this size, to a skein like this size. When the crimp activates on this, it just goes. <laughs> it's crazy and it's fun. So I will set you up to watch while I comb some of this. I'll just put it on time lapse so you don't have to listen to me babble endlessly. And then uh, we'll spin some up. And we'll chat again when it's time to wash it. And that's when the fun really begins. All right, let's get combing. So I have my little pile of nests. Now, because this is so springy, I've put my fast fly around my lendrum. And I'm going to spin very thin, very tight twist. Then I will make an Indian plying bracelet and ply it back on itself. And we will see what we have. Actually, maybe, no, I'll do Indian plying bracelet. So let's get spinning this super springy wool. It is very soft, though. I don't know if it looks coarse, but it's not. It's very, very soft. It's results time. We have our Rambouillet that we combed and spun, washed and dried. Oh, sorry. Washed, dyed, combed, spun, washed, dried. All right. Are you ready for this? When I took it off the wheel, I did it in two hanks. I took one 
and left it unwashed. And I took one and washed it. I did nothing fancy to it. I did a shampoo and water soak, spun it out, hung it up to dry. Did not snap, did not savage, did nothing. Just wash. I didn't even wring it out. I just put it in the salad spinner, spun it out to dry, hung it outside. I don't hang with weights. I just hung it. And here we go. Now I'm saying all that because this, you can see, here's our two skeins side by side. Now watch this. Let me untangle that. Look at the difference in length. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's how much this fiber springs back when you wash it. Like it is so springy. Like look at the difference. See here. I'll show you. I'm going to grip these two here. I'm going to fold it in half. And you can see we've got what four or five inches difference there and the only difference between the two skeins is the washing so when you set your twist it can definitely change the yarn I love this fleece because it is so springy for memory like it's crazy and it's also really nice and soft <laughs> So this was the magical Ramboule spin. So if you like this, do the stuff down below because I do stuff like this all the time. Thanks so much for joining me, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.